everyone, welcome to day two of Advent of Code. Annoyingly, I have already filmed this video, but for some reason my like laptop crashed literally towards the end of the video. So I'm having to start again from the beginning to show you what it is that I did. So let's get started and let's get into it. So day two is basically a um, day where you get a list of reports that um, so each line is filled with a report. So if we look at this, um, like here, each of these lines is a singular report and each of these reports is a level. So, um, so each like number in these reports is a level. So seven is a level, six is a level, four is a level, two is a level and one is a level. And basically there are a couple of rules that we need to account for in this report where it's, we need to make sure that the levels are either all increasing or all decreasing. And we also need to make sure that when the levels go up or if they go down, that they don't like move, like they move at least once, like, or they move at most three. So you can't have a level not move at all. So you can't go like four to four and you can um, like go like above, like jump from four to eight, for example. So if we look at these rules here, we've got um, seven, six four two one and that's safe because all the levels are decreasing by one or two and then we have the next level which is unsafe because there's two and seven and that jumps f like up five and then we've got unsafe again because six to two is a decrease of four and then we've got unsafe again because one to three is increasing but three to two is de like decreasing so those are the things that we need to um like account for so that's what we need to to basically get done um but yeah uh let's let's get into it and let, let's get going uh so basically the first thing that i'm going to do is i have just stripped this again because um i'm just gonna make sure that it's all stripped and happy and then i am just gonna um start with part one so what we're going to do for part one is we're just going to um, say we basically want to do that check of um, whether something is safe or not. So actually, I'll just create a function here that is is safe um, at the top and that's going to pass in um, a list of numbers. So each row is going to be a list of numbers. So is safe uh, and then we've got numbers here. And I'm just going to do print for now just to get rid of that error and I'm also going to do uh, like numbers here where we get the like, current line um, so for each report or report in report I'm going to do numbers and I'm going to get the, the list of numbers equals um, list um, uh, and then we do math in and then report dot split by a space so we get the list of numbers here and then we can do um, a counter as well so we can do a counter at the top so safe counter which is zero at, at the moment and then we can just do a if is safe um, is safe numbers we can just do um then um save counter also equals one and then we can just return the save counter so i am going to uh add the logic for this because obviously now this won't actually do anything but what we want to do is we want to iterate through the numbers and just check that like the current number and the, the last number um no the current number and the next number like are like not increasing by more than three or, or less than one and we also want to check that it's either all like increasing or all decreasing if we go up or down so um the first thing we're going to do then is we're going to do four i in um range length of numbers we're going to do uh if um uh if uh if numbers i minus um i'm gonna call this numbers actually just so it's a bit shorter 
and then let's say uh call this a and call this uh, b this one and then let's do uh if a um um, uh, a minus b and this needs to be absolute and then also we need to make sure that that's less than three as well like and then if if that's if and then we want to say if not rather than if is and then we know that if that's the case we can just return false that it's not safe Similarly, we can do if like, so we want to do a check on whether the current I is um, like greater than zero because we want to check the current I against the previous value and the next value. So we can do it if I equals zero continue. And then if, um, if not um, A Let's let's do a new value here, which is going to be C. C equal nums. Uh, no, let's call this. Uh, let's do this length of nums minus one. Uh, and then we can do here, we can do uh, yeah, nums i plus 2. And then we can do, uh, if not, um, a is greater than b is greater than c. Or a or not a is less than b is less than c. We can then again return false. And if that's not the case... Um, and then this needs to be an and, not an or. And then we need to do a return true if that's not the case. And then we can then do um, here, like this should work now. So I'm just going to run that and just verify that that actually does work. And if not, then um, debug y. Um, let's see. I need to actually include something in my input, so that's going to be zero, of course. So it's zero, minus two. Yep, it's out of range. Okay, yeah, I just need to do it here. This is this was right. Um but this needs to be minus one. Um actually this needs to be minus two. And then we need to do that here. Cool. So that's correct. So we've got day two, part one equals two. And then I'm just going to check that this actually works for the um, getting my puzzle input. And then here, make sure that that's right. Yep. So that is the correct answer. So if you see here, this is 334. So now again, so this is all good. We've got this working and it's returning the correct numbers. So now the next thing that we need to do is um, we need to do uh, like part two of this. So part two is basically a, a continuation from part one where you basically check whether or not like the level is safe 
with, with either without removing any level or you can remove a single level to um, like make it safe if that is possible. So previously, for example, these two levels were unsafe. Like here, it was unsafe because one, three, two, but actually you can remove the three here and now you can get a safe level of one, two, four, and five. Similarly here, you can get a, a level of eight, six, four, four, one by removing one of the fours. So there's, you, we can very much use the same logic in the first one here. So we can start with um, basically saying uh, if like, is we can basically copy this here and we can start from this. And then what we can do is um, we can then, we can then say, um, okay, else we can, for the current like numbers, we can iterate through the numbers. So for uh, I in range length of numbers, and we can basically just determine whether or not the like number inside, uh, like we, we can join the array together, but not including the current number. And we can basically say, based, is that safe? And if that is safe, then we can do a safe counter and we can exit that for loop. So for example, we can do if um, here is safe, and then we can do a numbers, And then we can do a save counter here. And, and then that's all we need to do to basically verify whether or not this is safe, like will be safe if we remove one number. I just, uh, let's try and do this, um, uh, I just, uh, right, that's why I need to actually do a plus equal form here. Yeah. Okay. So that gives us the right answer. And if we go back to our input text and we go back to the previous value as well, um, the value is two and four. So that's pretty much all I've done to um, make sure that it's safe. Um, and yeah, um, that, that's it basically. That's that's what I did to, to make mine safe. Definitely things that I could improve, like um, for example, uh, if I could probably do a check to get to the point where like, there's two numbers that aren't um, different to each other. So, but just to save a little bit of optimization, because at the moment, like this, for example, is worst case scenario, it'd be the last couple of numbers that are always gonna be changed. Um, and this then would be uh, O to the, um, O to the like bigger notation, O um, R times N, um yeah at times n because we would be iterating through each of these so there's definitely things that we could do to make that better uh i think it would be n squared actually yeah um o r n times n squared so um there are definitely things we could do to make this more improve improve to improve this but uh it advent of curves so i'm not bothering um but yeah that is what I did for mine. And yeah, uh, what did you do for yours? How did you like improve this? If you can let me know, um, feel free to link it down below. And yeah, uh, bye guys.